Hey, welcome back to Spain to your Caribou Data Science channel. This is the after evening of uh, September 23rd, 2021. First of all, uh, Spain, a big shout out to the eight people who watched this video yesterday. Thanks so much for those eight, eight, eight likes. Of course, I really like to have uh, eight likes to go along with the eight views. But I also give a special shout out to the six young people who watched this video yesterday. You know, I need your help to grow this channel and, 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 and get more views with, with, this, with, the, with this report every day. So what I really like you to do is click on that share button. Share this video on Facebook and Twitter. Also copy and paste the link to this video into an email or a text message, okay? Again, it's very important uh, that we grow our numbers in, in, in Spain, okay? You know, of course, I might just mention that uh, Spain is, after the U.S., is my second favorite country. I mean, uh, I tell you right now, I, I haven't been there in probably two years or three years. I, I, met, I You know, I miss the town squares. I miss, I, I miss the cafes around the town squares, the, the churches and everything, and the parks and stuff. Uh, because what I actually did, actually did, I've done two thirds of the Camino de Santiago. One, the first third of one year and the second third of next year, and I haven't finished the third third yet. But anyway, anyway, Spain, like I say, a big shout out to the six folks who did watch this video, young folks who watched this video yesterday. Now, before we get started, we have to remind ourselves a couple of things. First of all, uh, Spain only records the COVID-19 data Monday through Friday. So that means Monday's numbers include Saturday and Sunday's numbers. We also need to keep in mind about the vaccine, because the vaccine in Spain is like the one in the U.S. So will not keep the vaccine is not designed to keep us from getting COVID-19. It's designed to reduce the chances that we will that we will die from COVID-19. But even that's but nothing is guaranteed. Okay, so what this means is cases and even deaths are going to continue to go up for the foreseeable future because the vaccine isn't going to change the numbers that much, okay? So let's just take a look here. You can see Spain right now, you had, um, what? 4.9 million cases, 86,085 deaths. Uh, what you see here, you can see your cases for 2020 have already passed uh, 20. Your cases for 2021 have already passed 2020 cases with three months to go. Now, the good news on deaths is you've actually had, so far, you've had fewer deaths this year than in 2020. So th this is the good news. This, this, this means that maybe the vaccine is actually having an impact, okay? Let's just take a look at the, at the numbers all together. Let's take a look at the, at the current year. You can see you had a spike back up here. You can see on, on January 25th, you had a spike of 93,822 cases. But as of uh, September the 22nd, that number had fallen all the way to 2,000. 840 cases for a single day. And as of, and as of December the 17th, you were averaging 3,651 cases per day. That's just all, let's just take a look at the whole year. Again, you had a, you had a big spike back up here on February the 8th at 909 deaths. On uh, September the 22nd, uh, that number was down to 102 deaths for a single day. And, and, and for the seven day period ending uh, September the 17th, you were averaging 98.8 deaths per day. So your numbers are, your numbers are down pretty doggone good. Okay, let's just be honest about that. Okay, so what we're looking at here, we're looking at we're looking at daily cases. Now look at this, but you know, look at this nice long declining pattern in, in cases. Why why are you show, you know it's no wonder you, you open the country back up. Look at this nice long declining pattern in cases. But the question still remains: How many of these people were vaccinated? What about deaths? Well, you can see you basically got four weeks. The, that's a bit down for four weeks in a row now. Maybe not continuous, but down nonetheless. Uh, but still, the deaths are under under a thousand per week. Of course, the question again is how many how many of these people who died this year were vaccinated? How many of these people here were vaccinated? Okay. So anyway, let's let's, let's conclude with the monthly cases. Right now, your monthly cases are going to be well below uh, July July and August. Maybe even below these numbers right over here, which would be fantastic news. A huge, a huge drop in cases if that number holds up. What about deaths? 
Well, you can see deaths are higher than these three months right here, but they're still well below these highs, these highs back over here. And it's a pretty good chance that, that the uh, September deaths are going to finish with the August deaths also. So anyway, Spain, that does conclude your report for today. Again, thanks so much to the eight people who watched the video yesterday and especially to the six young folks. But I need you young folks to step up to the plate now to click on the share button. Share this video with your friends and your family today, okay? Also, I'd really appreciate if you watched the video, if you click on the like button. That, that's, that's how we get YouTube's attention, okay? Thanks so much, Spain. We'll catch you tomorrow with an updated report.